ChatGPT is very good at writing blog post content, but it's not that great when it comes to researching or writing more academic papers. So in today's video, I'll be showing you how to combine SciSpace with ChatGPT to create research articles or more academic articles for any use case that you may have. So let's go ahead and get started. As I mentioned earlier, we'll be using SkySpace in addition with ChatGPT. And SkySpace allows you to do academic research very easily. So if you're in college, university, or you need to do research on more academic topics, you can simply start by asking a research question related to the topic in which you're writing about. If you'd like to try out SciSpace for yourself, I'll leave a link in the description below this video. It's completely free and you can get the Google Chrome extension to start using it to research and write academic papers. So for example, let's say I'm writing an academic article or doing some research about the history of public health care in Canada. I would start by searching that up on SciSpace and as you can see here, we'll be able to get more academic resources that we can take a look at. So we have journal articles. We can actually go ahead and filter by the year, by the type of content. So we have journal articles books, book chapters, dissertations, posted content, preceding articles, proceedings articles and reports. We can also filter by the author, by the institution and by the topic. So if you want to filter down and talk more about healthcare, public history, population, public policy or whatever um, subtopic we would like to um, talk about, we can do so here. So as you can see here, instead of doing research on Google or relying on ChatGPT, I recommend doing your research on SkySpace because it puts all of the information within um, an easy to use space. So let's say now um, I liked the first text. If I wanted to just cite that right away, I can click cite and I can copy this over and paste this into ChatGPT just to keep it for later. Or if I wanted to read the full text, I can click full text. And again, I would be able to read through that full text. Now, a cool feature that I have included is the trace feature. So the trace feature will pull up that um, text or that article and it will give us related papers to that article. So we can take a look to see if there's any other related articles that's most relevant to what we're writing about. And again, um, be able to just do research a lot quicker on that topic. You can also go through the citations. So if there's any citations within that specific um, article that you like, for instance, Canada Health System Review, again, I can click on that and it takes me onto that um, paper itself and I get a nice excerpt for that paper and I also get the abstract. So again, this allows you to do some really, really in-depth research because I can then go ahead and look at the citations here or look at related papers and then I can um, click on whichever link I like the best. Let's say if I see a citation that I like or a reference that I like. Again, I can click on that and again, it continues to um, go down um, that loop and I can get more information on my topic a lot quicker. So that's how you would do research on SkySpace. Another cool feature is the Copilot. So the Copilot is very, very cool because it allows you to not just only do research, but get more information on whatever you're researching. So for example, this article talks about populism and the mirror of democracy. If I wanted to, I can go ahead and use the Copilot on the right hand side here and I can ask various questions. So I can ask it to explain the abstract of this paper in two lines. I can ask this to tell me what are the contributors of this paper, explain the practical implications of this paper, summarize introduction of this paper, methods used in this paper, what data has been used, conclusions, and so on. So again, I can use the Copilot to get more information from the article rather than having to actually go ahead and read through that full article. Again, I can get all of my information here. So the way that you would combine ChatGPT and um, SciSpace is first, you can do your research on SkySpace. And if you like any of the articles, you can then go ahead and get the abstract. You can copy over the abstract or you can use the Copilot to get some more in-depth information. And once you get that information, you can copy that over, head back over to ChatGPT. And first, we're going to start by priming the AI. So we're going to tell the AI what type of content we'll be creating. So the prompt that I've used and I am using the GPT-4 model is that we're going to be writing an academic article about public health care in Canada. The style will be academic factual and we will include citations for any source that is not ours. First, I will paste various texts from publications that are relevant for this topic and then you will take those texts and create an outline for the academic article. Do you understand? And it just tells us that it understands. So first, we'll be pasting in the content, we'll be generating an outline and then we'll be using that outline to generate the full article. So again, I'm going to search up the history of public health care in Canada in the co-pilot space so that we can um, start gathering some more information here. So this talks about the physician resistance and forging of public health care, a comparative analysis of the doctor strikes in Canada in the 1960s. So again, let's go ahead and click trace here and we can go ahead and copy over the abstract. 
and we're going to paste it into chat gpt so article one so that's just for one article again i can head over to papers and again this is in the co-pilot mode so it allows me to read with ai so again i can click on that and then we can see here the ai is on the right hand side and we can highlight text to get explanation so if you want to select a statement within your pdf you are able to do so and as you can see we can actually explain that text um, by using the copilot so very very cool feature there um, you can be much more interactive with your pdfs so again once you highlight any of your text you can summarize that text you can explain it or you can get related papers to that um, topic or text so this is really cool again because if you want to get more relevant citations or more relevant sources you can get relevant sources by doing this um, so again i can click related papers and let's see what uh, comes up for this Okay, so here we go. We get some related papers on that specific topic, and then you can go ahead and read through those and see whichever one you like the best. So as you can see here, you get some very cool features that I haven't seen in any other tool in the market. So if you are a university student, if you're um, a postgraduate student, if you're doing a PhD, or if you're just writing on academic um, topics, then I highly recommend you check out SkySpace. This is a very, very cool tool, and it makes researching very easy. So again, if you highlight that text, you can also explain the text so again, um, it will go into the copilot mode and you can explain any of the highlighted text. And you also have the ability to write any of your own unique prompts. You can write anything that you want in relation to that content and you'll be able to get back an answer. So now that I have a summary, I can then go ahead and copy over this summary and I can again paste it into chat GPT. I've lost the first abstract for the first article, so I'll just start with this one as number one and add in another article. Let's go ahead and search some related citations here, and we see another article that may be relevant, Canada Health System in Review. So this is an analysis of the Canadian health system. So this article seems to be very, very relevant to the content of which we're writing about. So, and also this is uh, much more up-to-date because we have information about 2020 and so on. So you're able to get more up-to-date information here. So let's go ahead and copy this abstract. We don't really need to do anything with the copilot mode because I think this does a really good job of telling us what the article is about. And we're going to head back over to ChatGPT, article number two, paste, and we're going to go back and grab the title. And then what I also forgot to get from the first article is the citation. So we're going to copy over the citation because again, we want to make sure that we're citing everything, um, especially for writing an academic article. Okay, so let's scroll down and get a couple more articles. So this is the public private debate in the funding and delivery of healthcare in Canada. So again, this seems to be very relevant to what we're um, writing about. So again, what we can do is we can read more so we can see the abstract as the copilot is loading up just to make sure that it's um, relevant to what we're writing about. So once it's loaded up, I've asked it to explain the practical implications of this paper. And again, um, that's gonna be information that we can use to feed into ChatGPT. So here are the practical implications of this article. So again, I'm gonna copy this over, head back over to ChatGPT, and this is going to be article number three. And now that we have four articles here with the abstract, I'm gonna tell the AI to first create an outline for our academic article, and then we'll use that outline to generate the full article. The prompt that I'll be using is to use this information above, so the information that we gathered from those articles, in addition to your own knowledge on the history of healthcare in Canada, create a unique, in-depth, and comprehensive blog post outline, include every single topic or question about the history of healthcare in Canada, and always write in Markdown. So the reason why I told it to also include some of its own information is because then we'll be able to get a more comprehensive blog post rather than just taking the information from those articles and um, creating an outline from that. Here is the full outline, the evolution of public healthcare in Canada, a comprehensive review, intro, brief overview of the Canadian healthcare system, importance and relevance of understanding its historical evolution, the origins, the origins and evolution of public healthcare, financing public healthcare, challenges and issues in public healthcare delivery, healthcare systems reforms and performance, the public-private healthcare debate, current challenges and future prospects, and a conclusion. And as you can see here, it's actually included the citations of some of those um, articles in which we um, included earlier. So our content is already being cited. And as you can see, we get a very in-depth and very relevant um, blog post outline for this topic. This is already a great start. I wish I had these tools when I was in university. But nevertheless, let's go ahead and uh, generate the full article. The prompt that I've used is to use the outline above and the article information provided, write a full in-depth blog post about the title, which is the evolution of public healthcare in Canada. 
write long in-depth paragraphs and include tables and lists, always cite your sources and create a list of references at the end of this article, aim for 1500 words and write in an academic style catered for an academic paper. So as you can see here, we get the intro, we get the origins and, and evolutions of public healthcare, financing public healthcare, challenges and issues, health system reforms and performances, the public-private healthcare debate. And as you can see, it's uh, continually writing. So once it is finished, then I will uh, come back here and uh, take a look at the full article. Okay, so this is the full article that we get back. We get the references, we get the conclusion, we get the citations that's included within the articles. So that's good that everything is cited so you don't wouldn't have to go back and then cite um, your sources after the fact and we get a pretty decent article it's a little bit shorter um, than what i would like but the reason why i think it's a little bit shorter is because i used it within the chat gpt interface i was going to do this in the playground mode because i'm able to direct it and get more content using that method but i know a lot of you don't have access to the playground mode so i wanted to show you guys how you can do this on chat gpt so that is one method in which you can use to get the um, full article the second method in which you can use is pretty similar but instead of having it generate the full article i can tell it to generate section by section and by doing that i'm able to get more information on each section which allows me to get a longer overall article We're using the same prompt but instead of writing the whole article I've told the AI to write each section individually, start with section one, write as much as you can, and then I will tell you when to continue. So again, this just allows it to um, be able to put as much content as it can for that first section, and then we tell it to then continue to the second section. So right off the bat, we can see for the first section, there's a huge difference in the amount of content that we're able to get back. We got back 300 words for the intro using that method. For the original intro, it was about 80 words, it looks like. Um, 65 words so major major difference there um, so if you want to get more content then just go ahead and use this method once it's finished writing then just tell it to continue to the next section and it will continue to the next section and um, write the full article so i'm gonna repeat this process using this method and then i'll come back when it's all finished and show you what the full article looks like the full article has finished writing and it's very very long a night and day difference in um, using this method compared to the first method we were able to get a much longer more in-depth article so if you are creating um, articles or essays i recommend using that method by writing each section individually starting with the first section and then telling the ai that you will let it know when to continue to the next section because they can focus and write more content as you can see, this content was about 2,400 words, and the first um, article was about 700 words. So a big difference in the content length and the length of the article that we're able to get back using the second method. So if you need to research or write more academic papers, then I highly recommend following this workflow. First, use SciSpace to do your research and find content in which you would like to include within your articles and feed that content into ChatGPT, generate an outline, and then use the prompt to generate each section by section for those outlines until you finish the full article. And also make sure to include the citations and include that within your prompt because then you wouldn't have to do any references after the fact. All of your content will be um, referenced while it's being written. So I hope that you guys enjoyed today's video and I hope that you learned something new. If you did, let it be known by giving us a big thumbs up and subscribing to the channel if you haven't already. Till next time, stay well.